Let's take a look at this reflex collapse. We have a whoa, it fall by a spin, followed by a wow, all the way down to the ground. Total recovery time is 12 seconds. Total rotation of the glider is a full 360 and some more. Let's break this down a little bit more in slow motion. We have a 100% collapse followed by a 180 immediately. The pilot then spins around the opposite direction is facing up while the glider continues to spin. Pilot finally untwists and is almost near the ground losing between 50 and 100 feet taking over 12 seconds to fully recover. Now for a dominator collapse here, we can see it in less than two seconds, it closes and opens. The wing collapses 90%, reopens, does not change any direction, does not lose any altitude. Before the pilot even notices that it has closed, it is already open. Now for another reflex video here, we can see this pilot's flying low and over the water. He takes a 70% collapse, takes immediately right turn, dive right into the water. You can see here his wing takes a 70% collapse, it turns him 90 degrees to the right, he goes face first right into the water before he can do anything about it. For another dominator uh, collapse here, we can see that the pilot, Dell, is flying in between a canyon, he takes a 70% collapse, does not lose any altitude, continues flying the direction he was going. His wing collapses, it immediately reopens, he continues flying the direction that he was originally going. That right there is the main reason we fly Dominators.